For as long as this generation can probably remember, if you are going to associate any American who claim to bleed red, white, and blue, then you are going to have to associate them with certain things. A cold can of beer, a vintage muscle car, and of course, the Second Amendment that gives them the right to bear arms. The final element is something that has logically extended to their military forces, so much so that the United States of America is considered to be the country with the most advanced weapons in the world. In fact, right now, the United States of America is the country that allocates the most resources, and by extension, that means that they have come out with some of the most advanced tech that makes them one of the most undefeatable countries today. Let's not dully-dally any further. Let's take a look at some of the military tech that makes the U.S. nearly unbeatable today. AGM-1, 58XR. Let's start off with this weapon that was developed by Lockheed Martin, the global aerospace and defense company that is involved in the research, design, development, manufacture, integration, and sustainment of advanced technology systems, products, and service. It should come as no surprise that they are the ones that would come up with a weapon that is as powerful as the AGM-1. 58XR. After all, their main customer is the U.S. Department of Defense, and as such, they were on hand to create this powerful missile that was designed to take America's deep striking abilities to unimaginable realms. Apparently, this missile weapon is a variant of the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, JASSM, a weapon system that is considered to be the backbone of the U.S. Air Force and Navy missile arsenal. Turns out that this weapon has been in development since about 2018, and we must say that this looks like a job well done because the weapon is almost ready for deployment. Once it is ready, people will find that this is a powerful weapon, one that enemies of the U.S. must fear for several reasons. First off, that XR in its name stands for Extreme Range. This is no joke because it can travel a distance of 1,100 miles. This will allow cruiser jets that carry them to have targets that are so far away, said target would never see them coming. Then there is the fact that it is able to do this because of its new outer mold line. This allows it to carry more fuel than any other weapon in the JASM family. Let's not forget that the missile is part of an advanced data link. This advanced data link allows it to be part of a network which connects it to a networked battle space. This is because this allows missiles to communicate and work with one another. Add the fact that the XR is part of an existing production line that allows it to undergo several upgrades and adjustments as needed, and you'd find that this would find that this would be one scary weapon to think about if you ever have to face the United States of America. Railgun. Next up, we take a look at a bit of an interesting one for the U.S. arsenal. Turns out that despite the U.S. affinity with arms, they don't really have much history with railguns. Even when André Louis Octave Fauchon Villeplay designed what was considered to be a simple electric gun, maybe the U.S. didn't take any real interest in the weapon because the prototype was considered to be so small that it didn't seem to have much practical use. Well, a century or so after the railgun was invented, it looks like several countries are trying to see if they could make it bigger and deadlier than ever before. Suffice it to say, the U.S. is on this list of countries trying to make a railgun of their own, and as such, you'd find that they have even gone as far as investing about $500 million into the research needed to create a shipborne railgun. This would be no ordinary railgun. No, this would be a railgun that would be able to fire projectiles at speeds of up to 4,500 miles per hour with a 100-mile range. A lot is involved in making a weapon that is this powerful. In fact, the amount of energy needed to put this railgun together deterred the U.S. from ever doing so. But do you know who did? If your guess was Japan, you're right. Their gun was so impressive that it was capable of firing 0.7-pound 40-millimeter steel rounds at speeds of Mark 6.5. Incredibly, it's been announced that Japan would actually like to work with America when it comes to developing this weapon some more. With any luck, the U.S. Navy would be able to take part in this weapon development for its own benefit. Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA program. This program was put together in order to manifest a vision, a battlefield where manned and unmanned aircrafts would be able to coordinate their attacks seamlessly. In order to make this work, the aim was for AI drones to act as autonomous sidekicks in the air. That way they could also do other things such as share sensor data and adjust tactics in the heat of battle. 
This program was developed by weapons manufacturers such as Anduro and Lockheed Martin. You'd find that this may be a small peek into what the future of warfare would look like should the U.S. have to go up against any international foe. With these autonomous machines doing all they can to support the troops in the air, or on land, or in the seas, there is every chance that the U.S. will have a bit of an edge should they get into some sort of military conflict. Stand and Attack Weapon CYWO. Then there was Siwawa, also known as the Stand and Attack Weapon. This is a stealth missile that was put in a way that allows it to break through high-target enemy defenses. Apparently, it is deployed from platforms such as the F-35A. To make it better, it comes with an AI system that gives it the ability to adapt to whatever situation it faces. With this AI, Siwa is guided with real-time tactical decisions. You'd also find that it is able to avoid radar and interceptions thanks to its advanced stealth algorithms that targets critical infrastructure and air defense systems in contested zones, thereby making it that perfect system that could almost get into any target undetected. To be honest, we are not sure that there is a better stealth AI-powered weapon that is out there today. Hypersonic Missiles For those of us that are not modern weaponry, you may already know that the most powerful nations in the world have been looking for a way to create these weapons that are capable of achieving hypersonic speed. This is because such a missile would be able to travel at Mach 5 or beyond. This is a huge advantage for anyone that has such a weapon because it would be almost impossible to intercept by any known military defense today. If anyone ever got their hands on such a weapon, there could be global implications. You'd find that this is the exact reason the U.S. is a bit worried about who comes up with this weapon first. You see, apparently the Russians claim that they already have such a weapon in their arsenal. They have this ballistic missile known as the Kinzhal Air Launch Ballistic Missile, and it is believed to be able to reach speeds of Mach 10. Then there is their Oreshnik missile, a missile that is purported to reach similar speeds, while being able to inflict more damage on its target because it carries more warheads with it. This is everything that you would find in the nightmares of a U.S. Army general. As such, it comes as no surprise that the U.S. is forced to do something about it. That is why on December 12, 2024, the Department of Defense announced the successful completion of the end-to-end -end test of a conventional hypersonic missile. As you can imagine, this is a major landmark for the U.S. Army. Add the fact that Lockheed Martin is currently developing the AGM-1, 83 or all you about you, and you'd find that there is much to celebrate when it comes to the U.S. creating weapons that can achieve hypersonic speeds. These missiles will be able to reach speeds of Mach 5 before going on to release a non-powered glide vehicle that can continue moving at such speeds as it makes its way towards its target. To make this missile even more impressive, it will have an impressive range of about 1,000 miles. With such a weapon in the arsenal of the U.S., it's fair to say that this country will be more unstoppable than ever before. With that in mind, which weapon do you think is the most powerful one on the lot?